All right, I'm going to show you how we're going to integrate our Verisurf data into SolidWorks with a point cloud and some reverse lines that I have from either scanned or ARM data. And we're going to fit a surface patch to this first. Let's see, we'll do that, and it's automatically offset by the uh, gauge distance. So there's our surface patch. And we're just going to shade that in, and I'm going to uh, check that out, and we're going to save that out in a file that easily is read by SolidWorks. In this case, I'm using just an IGES file. And we're saving that out right there. Okay, now we're going to go to our SolidWorks, and I'm going to bring in that I just file. And I'm not running the auto diagnostics, but I do have some extra geometry here just from the way I was goofing off before trying this out. So edit my sketch here. What I'm going to do on my main sketch is I'm going to come in and I'm going to put the constraints on it. You'll see me do that in just a second here as I get rid of that extra sketch. And just I'm going to measure those radii because I like to put my radii in in, in SolidWorks using the uh, solid data. I don't like that doom in the sketch. So I'm just making sure that they're the size that I think they are, which is a quarter inch. And I'm going to put my constraints in. This just takes a second. And we'll put our, our dimensions on. And we'll trim that together, and then we can take out our uh, sketched fillets. All right, now, just a matter of making our solid. And we're going to trim that to that surface that we brought in from Verisurf. And pick the right side. And that there, I can make that surface patch there invisible because I don't need to look at it anymore. And I could take that now and put that on a mold cavity or a core. Do I need to do it here? You see me putting the fillets on. And actually what I'm going to do, just so I can show you that there's some um, things you can do here, is I'm actually just going to put some holes in it, some screw holes that I'm going to center on that radius, and we'll change the radius. And uh, pick a smaller size. Actually, the center of that radius, and for some reason, uh, there we go. Center of that fillet. There we go, right there, center of the fillet. And there's my model. And what I could do now if I want to is say make a quick change to the radius there. Everything updates, everything's parametric. And there you go. There's a model that I reverse engineered with Verisurf and brought into SolidWorks so I could put more data and more details on that.